Hello and welcome back to the Journey to 300. Of course, I'm Bill Hoffman and I wanted to go ahead and take this opportunity to break down my outdoor and indoor target bow rig. I've got everything on it now. I've been shooting it. Man, the Journey to the 300 may be a little bit shorter, I'm hoping, because this thing is shooting awesome. We're just gonna go ahead and start from the top with the bow. It is an Expedition Archery Perfection XL, a 38 inch axle to axle bow. Uh, I'm very, very happy with it. It's got a moderate brace height. It's not super aggressive. It just feels good. You know, when you, you pull back and you release and it's just butter, there's almost nothing there. I'm very happy with the way it balances and obviously the color is just all out of this world. I'm a big Michigan fan. It's a perfect blue color. Uh, I, I'm very happy with it. I talked about the way it balances. It does need stabilization as most target rigs do and I'm very, very happy to be partnered with Spider Archery products because these stabilizers, or we call them stabs, and weights the fit and finish on them the carbon fiber is just top notch they are absolutely just awesomely made and I, I i'm so happy and when you go to buy them their prices are actually really affordable i was very happy to see that uh, so with what i went with as far as stabilizers go is i have a 30 inch bar on the front you can go as long or short i'm going to be shooting in the open class so there's no rules on that I also have a quick dis or quick connect, quick disconnect, just makes things a little bit easier. And on the end on the front, I found the bow balance the best for me at three ounces in the front and six ounces on the back. But let's talk about the back real quick. I also, again, it's all spider archery. I have a 12 inch coming off the back. So it's 30 on the front, 12 on the back six ounces on the back on the back though still i also have a variable adjust uh, and a quick disconnect on the back as well this allows this back stabilizer to adjust both down up out and in so you really can um, modify the bow to get it balanced perfectly for you some of the other things i've decided to go with here i've partnered with gold tip arrows and I'm shooting the X cutter. It is a 20 size 24 diameter arrow. Uh, they're the, you might call them fat arrows. It's not even the fattest arrow, arrow they make. They make uh, up to a 27 and I think they even make like a 32. However, I, I chose this. This is kind of like the mid range for fat arrows. The reason we shoot fat arrows is that you can break more lines with them. That's it. When, when you're breaking lines, you're shooting 300, you want to get that higher score, gives you a little bit bigger opportunity. Uh, as far as the rest, I went with the uh, Hamski Primal. Um, it is my first limb driven rest. I've always used cable driven. Uh, however, I was at my local pro shop, Sunrise Archery and Outdoors. They suggested I go with the limb driven. They suggested the Hamski. I'm very happy with it. Uh, as far as sights go, HHA Tetra. It's, um, it's an adjustable sight, so uh, you set your 20, you set your 60, you do some math, you put a tape on it. I should be able to dial it all the way from 20 to 100 yards, maybe even more, who knows. And then one thing that's kind of neat, inside this sight, I am also running a four power scope. Uh, I'm sorry, a four power lens inside the scope. And however, one thing to mention, when you do bump up to using a magnified lens in your scope, you very, may, you very well may have to use a uh, verifier or a clarifier in your uh, peep sight, which this is made by Specialty Archery, and I went with a .5. There's different numbers. It's different for everyone, so I, I can't tell you to shoot a four power you're going to need a 0.5 or a 0.1 or a six power it's different for everyone the best way to do it is find an awesome local archery shop like i have with sunrise archery and just go in there and you play with it you really do you put your scope uh up you, you come to full draw you got your four power lens in there and you may have to change your verifier in and out the nice thing with how they're made is it does it does the lens just screws in and out of the peep so you only have one peep housing 
but the lens changes. Um, again, first time I've ever shot magnified lens. First time I've ever shot with a magnif or with a uh, verifier uh, or clarifier. Um, first time I've ever shot with fat arrows. First time I've ever shot a target rig. So, guys, admittedly, this journey to 300 has brought me into a new world of archery that I'm super happy with. I'm super excited to uh, get involved with, and I can just tell you, I've shot the bow probably a hundred times now and it's awesome. I, I, I really think I'm going to be able to score some high games with this and, and I'm gonna be real happy. So again, um, if you're out there, you wanna look up these companies, the links to all their websites are down below. I'm super happy to be partnered with Sunrise Archery. Again, find yourself a great local pro shop. I'm super happy to be partnered with Expedition Archery, Gold Tip Arrows, uh, spider archery products for the um, stabilizers and there's one more product that I'm super excited to get but I haven't got my hands on yet and that is the new Hot Shot releases. Uh, I've been a fan of Hot Shot, I've been a customer of Hot Shot for years and years uh, but I've never shot their back tension releases or, or their thumb button releases so I'm excited to get those. I'm still currently shooting this with an index style uh, release and what every hunting guy out there has there's nothing wrong with that uh, a lot of the target guys like to go to a different style release but that's a whole different world and we'll get into that another day but i promised you guys a video on the rig and what i was going to do with it and how it all set up and i'm very happy with the turnout um again hopefully uh the journey to 300 is uh going to be a little bit easier now thanks to this rig because I like to end every episode with a fun shot, I'm gonna see if I can hit a 14. I don't have the sight tape completely dialed in yet, but the 14s are a major part of the IAA, and let's see if I can do it here in my backyard. Looks pretty good to me. About 20 yard shot. And good to go. 